Welcome back to AI Tech Zone, where we explore the cutting edge of science and technology. Today, we're diving into one of the most ambitious and controversial projects in modern science, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER. Has the dream of nuclear fusion come to a halt? Why is this international experimental reactor in big trouble? Let's find out. Fusion energy, the process that powers the stars and our sun, promises to provide us with a source of cheap, non-polluting power. Back in 2010, 35 countries, including major players like the US, China, Russia, and European states, embarked on a mission to build ITER at saint paul les durance in France. The initial cost? $6 billion. The goal? To achieve energy-producing reactions by 2020. But here we are in 2024, and things haven't quite gone to plan. ITER is currently facing what many are calling the most delayed and cost-inflated science project in history. With a decade of work and an ever-growing budget, some are questioning whether this project can achieve its groundbreaking aim of creating clean, limitless energy. In the last 10 years, there's been a significant increase in private fusion companies promising faster and cheaper solutions compared to ITER. However, it's important to note that some of these claims might be overly optimistic. Despite the challenges, ITER continues to hold promise. One of the crucial areas of research is generating tritium, a rare hydrogen isotope essential for fusion reactors. At ITER, scientists are experimenting with using neutrons to bombard lithium, producing both helium and tritium. This process alone is considered a worthwhile experiment. ITER's spokesperson denies the notion that the project is in big trouble. They argue that other major science projects, like the International Space Station and the UK's HS2 Rail Link, have also faced significant delays and cost overruns. So, ITER isn't an outlier in this regard. Fusion power's limited carbon emissions could be a game-changer in the fight against climate change. However, fusion will arrive too late to help us cut carbon emissions in the short term. It's the significant amounts of electricity produced later in the century that could make a difference. So, is the dream of nuclear fusion dead? Not quite. ITER may be facing significant hurdles, but the potential benefits, clean, limitless energy with minimal carbon emissions, are too great to ignore. Whether ITER will overcome its challenges remains to be seen, but its research continues to pave the way for future breakthroughs in fusion technology. What do you think about the future of nuclear fusion? Is it worth the investment, or should we look elsewhere for our energy solutions? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful content on AI and technology. Thanks for watching AI Tech Zone, and we'll see you in the next video.